So what is service endpoint? This topic is included in the AZ-104, AZ-700s, AZ-500s, and AZ-305 for different reasons. We're assuming for this explanation that you have some understanding of TCP IP, private and public IPs, infrastructure as a service versus platform as a service offerings, but especially that you are familiar with the Azure Virgin Network concept and routing tables. So here is the scenario. We have on the left a virtual machine, a, an infrastructure as a service offering that is running on a VNet, has a private IP, and on the right we have a storage account or any other platform as a service offering like a database as a service, an application service, Azure Active Directory. And the virtual machine is consuming from that platform as a service. It is connected to that service. What do you think this communication will be? Private or public? The communication by default, if you're not changing the configuration offered by the resource, it will be and remain public. So how do you fix that? You can associate to the subnet a service endpoint. This will affect the default routes on the subnet. So the next hub will be that service endpoint instead of the internet. You can enable that per service, and after you've done that, then the communication between the subnet and the resource provider will remain private. Here's how it looks. You have a network interface that is connected to a subnet that has the service endpoint enabled for storage. You can see under affected routes that the default route for the storage service was changed to point as a next hub to the Virgin Network Service endpoint instead. That modification is one side of the coin. The other part is to go to the platform as a service and in the platform as a service modify the default behavior. You can see here, this is a storage account and you go to the security and networking and the firewall and virtual networks tab. And by default, this will be and remain enabled for all of the networks. What you need to change is to enable that only from selected virtual networks and IP addresses. You can then associate a VNet that has already enabled the service endpoint on it, or create a new one with that option also enabled. 